Hey, um, this is the entrance to my school, the Santa Cruz Christian Learning Center. Uh, this is where we go every day to study and hang out. It's actually a pretty cool place. This is where my locker is behind me. This one here, this is where all the, the seventh, eighth, and ninth graders have their lockers. Okay, you see here beside me the school library, which has a lot of um, books for checking out, reading, or studying or um, resource materials. And it might not have as many books as a public library, but it um, does have quite a bit of books. We also have seven computers in here for um, research and whatever you need to do online. And um, upstairs in the computer lab, we have closer to 30. And this is all just, just to research and do what you need to do, and also computer classes it's to the far, farther right. Um, next to the computer lab, we have um, a chapel. This is one of the highlights of my week. Every Wednesday, we meet there, fourth hour, and just worship and um, fellowship there with music and um, with the me with a message someone shares. And it's um, it's the best part of the week for me. It is pretty cool living in Bolivia because you get to see these cool kinds of animals. This is a walking stick. They're really friendly, and they do they they walk on your hand. They do not bite. They three legs on each side, and yeah. This is a walking stick. Uh, this is a walking stick. This is the playground of the of the elementary. This is the kiosko, which is a which is a snack bar. You you can get soda, chips, chocolate bars, sateñas, and up and empanadas. Okay, this is the school cafeteria. We eat here every day. Uh, different classes come at different times to eat here, and um, the you can also buy a meal for a relatively low price here. Um, any day you want. There's either the special or for 10 Bolivianos you can get a, a plate of chicken and fries. The one. Two, one, Here's where the school got flooded and as you can see they put um, the drainage system here that goes to the ba to back to the end there. Um, I have a lot of classes and uh, my favorite class would probably be art or Spanish class. Uh, yeah. Oh. This is the uh, decorations that the school put up for the 200th anniversary of Santa Cruz. Here would be a house where you live, and in the back they would have a, a oven made of mud which they use to make bread. Seeing cows in Santa Cruz is very common, but um, how many of you have seen cows in your neighborhood? Now? Okay. A lot, a lot of roads in Santa Cruz are not yet paved. Now? A l but a lot of but a lot of of roads are being paved are are paved this is a dirt road here it's pretty windy today sometimes uh since it's so windy dirt flies around and so that's why sometimes bolivia santa cruz is called sandy cruz Here's the road that they're going to connect 
that fr from here to school and over here is an abandoned field where people put their garbage and uh, ca they bring their cows here. This is the way to the school which is pretty bumpy. It's dirt road. Here's where all the micros, all, all the buses from Santa Cruz are. They're called micros. This is the house that we we've been renting since we got back from Canada, the States. Interesting enough, interestingly enough, we used to live in the house right beside it for two for. Th Three, for two, three years in 2002 to 2004 or 5. This is the truck that we have been using for the past 10 years. Let's go into the house. Most houses have a closed gate and uh, then the house for the vehicles. Our house has has for two cars. Here we have the house with the dogs in the back and uh, the dining room area over there with the air conditioner, the two air conditioners over there. Uh, the bottom air conditioner doesn't work. Uh, that's the TV area. Here is the kitchen where my mom slaves around in the kitchen, <laughs> making us wonderful food. I hope you learned a lot about our life, our daily life in Bolivia. For a prayer request. There's a lot of there's a lot of burning, so could you pray for the for the for rain so that the smoke can go away? There you got to see a little bit about our school and how we live our life. And if you have any questions, email them to us, and we'll either respond in an email or answer them in, in future videos.